gonna have to do some scanning for platinum soon. That was pretty quick. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, ship enhancements, prototypes, advanced, uh, what's this, missile armor, heavy weapon ammo, 2 out of 5, plus 30% heavy weapon ammo capacity, definitely useful. Uh, okay, what have we got, this is some kind of, what's this, uh, M622 Avalanche, new heavy weapon. Our missile launcher. Just get everything, anything and everything. Even if we don't use them, it gives us it gives us the opportunity to choose. It gives us choice, and choice is good. All right, and finally, advanced training. Now I need to read that. I've read the description of this, and it's a little bit confusing. Through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new bonus power and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power. So effectively then, he can pick powers of his colleagues to uh, to use, so you could end up with like five, six, seven, eight powers. That's what it sounds like. I'll have to take a look at that in more detail uh, a little bit later. So we've got uh, a few things to keep us going. We've got some armor upgrades. We've got some weapon upgrades. We've got the uh, medical bay ship scar removal facility, which uh, <laughs> we're going to head there pretty much straight away. A lot of codex entries regarding weapons, regarding other things probably. Take a look. Anything? Anything else? No, nope, that's fine. All right, good. Yeah, this is just a review of the upgrades you've got. It doesn't really serve any purpose. You don't have to activate them or anything like that. It's just a sort of a alphabetical list of what you've got. Okay. Do 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 Right to here. So we've got Kasumi and we have Zaid, but they don't tend to speak a lot. I think it's probably because of the, uh, they are downloadable characters, so they don't tend to <laughs> have in depth conversation options. Miranda! Commander, what can I do for you? Any upgrade ideas? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, what does she suggest? She suggests advanced mineral scanner. Greatly speeds up the planet scanning process. Well, hellfire and brimstone, I'm getting that, my friend, right now. Makes it a lot easier for me to scan when I need to uh, scan planets to get extra materials. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. I'll of let course, you Commander. work. Fine. I'll let you work then. I know there's only a couple of. Uh, well, we haven't really left Omega, so I don't think a lot of people have a lot of uh, things to say. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. Well, you calibrate away, Garrus. You calibrate away. Yeah, I don't think. I think we better have to leave Omega and go somewhere else before they uh, want to talk about anything else. But we have something to do in here. Doctor Chakwas, I hear you have a new machine. Where is it? Show me to the facial recognition. Or has it already happened? Is it like miraculously happened already? Edie, where's my facial? machine thing to 
take my scars away. Show it to me. <gasps> ah, here it is. Yes, permanently heal and remove my horrific scars. Thank you. Huh? No, don't turn your head away from me. There we go. Nice. No more horrific scars. <laughs> hey, Dr. C, how's it going? I don't think she'll have anything to say to me either, but hey, I'm going to ask. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Oh. Brandy goes straight to my head. <laughs> unprofessional. Don't be silly. I enjoyed it. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Every year? <laughs> don't talk foolishness, Doctor. Every month. All right, let's go down to the uh, engineering level. I just want to see, I don't think they do, but I just want to double check that the uh, downloadable characters don't have upgrade uh, ideas. This mission takes me back. To when? I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. <sighs> Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. There he goes again. Blowing his own horn. Has he got no shame, the man? hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Oh dear. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? <laughs> Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Well, it's fine with me, don't worry. In fact, yeah, see if I can't fleece you out for a few, uh, few credits. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. Yes. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Friendly does it, as Shepard uh, fleeces his <laughs> as Shepard fleeces his crew out of five hundred credits, playing the part of a rookie. Rookie, it's a secret uh, addict. And, uh... Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> Yes, I am, aren't I? Just remember that lesson, my friend. Don't fall for sil silly little tricks. I'm sure there was a lower level to these, uh, engineering level. Anyway. Spoke with Miranda. Gar I, didn't think, I don't think Garrus had an upgrade idea. He might have, denied, may have missed that, but we can always go back another time. I think it's time to jet off again. Okay, so we've done the research as much as we possibly can for now, barring the uh, ship upgrade for... What did we upgrade? Can we research it on our personal terminal system? Yes, we can, actually. Advanced combat training. Two points to spend, one point to pull.
don't even know where we're going. <laughs> Come here blind. The mission that I am going to be doing next, it is going to be one of the side quests or loyalty missions for one of my members of the team. We've uh, we've recruited a couple of uh, members now. We've got Kasumi, we've got Zaid, Garrus. So we've recruited three people. So I think it's about time that we uh, at least try to uh, cement their loyalty and show them that we are serious about them being here. And as such, I'm going to pick the one assignment that I haven't yet done because this is the first time I have recruited Kasumi. So her mission sounds extremely interesting. Uh, so I'm going to have a blast at this one. Uh, so Master Thief, Kasumi Goto has a problem. A ruthless arms dealer named Donovan Hawk killed her partner, Keiji Okuda, and stole Okuda's grey box, a neural implant that stores memories and information. So she's planned a daring heist to recover the grey box and has asked for help in pulling it off. So we are going to assist her. And we need to travel to Beckenstein which is in the Serpent Nebula. We're attending a party, apparently. So this will be uh, a strange uh, change of pace. Putting on the formal attire and uh, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Black tie, maybe? I don't know. But it remains to be seen that I don't know where this place is, so we're going to have to do a bit of exploration first. Uh, let's take a look. It doesn't appear to be in this... Uh, Cluster, so we may have to uh, jet on off to another cluster through the mass relay. We've got plenty of fuel. Where is it? Help Zaid. This is what I don't like. I can't actually see the whole bunch of systems without moving and wasting fuel. It would be nice if I could zoom out of this and get a sort of a. Oh, I can. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay. Serpent Nebula. It appears to be in the Serpent Nebula, so we shall go there. Uh, whereabouts in the Serpent Nebula? The Serpent ne 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 Nebula. There we go. I knew I couldn't do it. There, like for now. I can't actually zoom out to see the rest of the map, but it shouldn't really matter. We're off to the Boltzmann system. Ah, there we go. Let's take a look here. Step by step. So, we have an unexplored planet that goes by the name of Feynman, which is a hydrogen methane gas giant. Far less interest to the colonists of Beckenstein than its moons. All 24 are under heavy development by three rival firms, Hoshiri Heavy Industries, Guangui Solutions and the Dynamis Corporation. These three firms are under ironclad contracts to sell the raw material exclusively to corporations based on or orbiting around Beckenstein. Heavy investment. Feynman itself has been relatively untouched. Veltman, a hydrogen helium gas giant, home to the Koshiroten, enormous storm cells that appear as white spots and are visible as far away as Beckenstein. As with most other uh, colonized gas giants, Veltman's orbital space spots a variety of helium-3 refueling stations for merchant vessels. Particularly note among the orbital stations is the Dynamis Corporation's facility for manufacturing metastable metallic hydrogen, despite the risks involved in manipulating the powerful mass effect fields needed to do so. Citadel warships which use the substance in their thrusters can frequently be seen docking at Veltman as a result. Heavily patrolled in Citadel space. 